There is one piece of equipment that can either make you tens of thousands of dollars or it can cost you tens of thousands of dollars and even your reputation. And of course, I'm talking about a simple SD card. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that your footage doesn't get lost. And even if it does, I'm gonna show you a number one way, proven effective way on how you can get your memory back in case this thing is somehow not being read by your computer. First of all, you wanna take all preventative measures. First measure is if your camera has a dual card slot, make sure that you're using redundant recording, meaning that you are shooting to both memory cards. And this will record your footage and save it to both SD cards simultaneously. Also, a lot of people are using 128 gigabyte memory cards. I strongly don't recommend that because if one of those cards goes bad, then you're losing a lot of footage. It's better to shoot on smaller cards like 64 gigs. That way, if the card does go bad, you can at least save some of that footage from another card. However, let's say that your camera doesn't have that dual SD card option, or let's say that your SD card went bad and your computer's not reading it. There is a solution on how we can recover the data that's written on that card. First of all, I do want to give a big thanks and shout out to Wondershare for sponsoring this video because we are going to be using their software to recover some data. We're first going to insert the affected SD card into your computer, then launch the Recover It software. Immediately, we can see the SD card. It's right here. Now, there are times when your MacBook Pro or your Windows PC won't even read the SD card, but Recover It will. So once you select the SD card, all we have to do is go to Start, and it's gonna start scanning the SD card for any lost or corrupt data. Remember to not format your SD card if you think it's corrupted, because that will for sure guarantee erase all of your data. So if you have the slightest hint that your SD card is corrupted with the footage you just shot, immediately insert it into your computer and open up Recover It. Out of all the softwares I've used, Recover It was the closest to recovering my lost files. I've used programs like Stellar Phoenix and Data Rescue. Now the scanning process does take a while while it scans every single part of your SD card for lost or corrupt files. So feel free to enjoy a cup of coffee while it does the job. As you can see here, we're 53% in, and we can already see the list starting to populate. Now, what I really like about the software is that you can pause at any time, and you can actually select the files that it already found and recover them immediately. Other softwares, you have to actually wait for the whole entire scan to finish, but let's say I want to recover the private folder here, which is what Sony Alpha cameras use to record their files. So all we have to do is check mark that folder, and click on recover. Then you have to select the destination where you want all of those recovered files to go to. And there you go, it's gonna start recovering that data. To make the scanning process even faster, you can actually filter the type of files you want to recover simply by clicking on file type, videos, documents, database, archives, and other. This software doesn't only just scan SD cards, but it can also scan hard drives, external or internal. On top of that, this software can even restore your computer from a crash. You can see that option right down here. Here are all the sources of media that are hooked up to my computer. Any forms of this storage is eligible for file recovery. Recover is overall a great solution for those of you who have issues with SD cards. I've had three SD cards go bad on me and software was able to recover that footage. So don't lose hope when this happens to you. You can at least get some of your files back. Just remember to go through the preventative measures using dual SD card slots, not formatting your cards when you think it's corrupted, and I think you will be just fine. Remember, 64 gig cards are very important. And also another crucial tip, when you film something incredibly important and you have a little bit of time in between your shoots, make sure you go to your computer and back up that footage onto at least two different drives. That way, if the card does go bad on you, you do have your backups. So always bring your laptop with you with some external hard drives whenever you go to a shoot. And just like that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in Recover It, check out the link down below and you can try out the software for free and you can see exactly what it can recover for you before you make any sort of purchase. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.